Redditors who are feeling a bit sad right now, what's wrong? The only flaw is thinking flaws are bad. You can't get better if you don't do wrong. It's the only way to learn and releasing that energy and telling yourself that literally no human being can be perfect. It doesn't matter and only really lives within our perspective. A monkey might think you're ugly as hell, but you are perfect to someone out in the world. Be kind to yourself, it's the golden tip to having a happy life. There's nothing wrong in wanting to be better, but don't let it eat you alive or you basically turn the whole concept of being better into something that's actually making you worse. My son's 26th birthday is coming up. This February it will be 10 years since he passed away. The time has gone by so slow and yet so fast. I still can't believe he is gone and I have to wake up daily without him. Life is pure misery. My mom's friend died from cancer today. She was 48 and mom is really sad. Chich makes me sad. I'm alone all the time. Yeah. Loneliness is horrible. Just me and my thoughts. Never a good pair. Fucking hate myself. Imagine hanging out with the person you hate more than anyone else 24-7. Except instead of just being horrible, they tell you that you aren't shit. You won't ever be shit. And that there's no path for you to ever escape this shit. Imagine the worst person you know multiplied by 37 or whatever fucking double-digit number you want. I don't care. Feeling unheard by my family and like I'm being simultaneously held back and guilt for being held back. Just lots of conflicting feelings caused by others making decisions on my behalf without my thoughts and considerations. Honestly, what you're feeling super sucks, but I'm proud of you for recognizing that other people are thinking for you. It took me too long to realize that was the case in my life. Hang in there and think of what steps you can take to break that pattern. If you're a minor, maintain for as long as it takes and then you'll have the world by the tail. Just stay healthy and positive and make good decisions. I lost someone important to me. For a long time I thought it was my fault. Upon further reflection, I'm realizing they treated me pretty badly. It's so confusing. A friend committed suicide yesterday. And I'm just having trouble accepting that he is gone. My older brother, 24M, who was my best friend committed suicide in March at the beginning of the pandemic. Although it's only been 10 months, I, 16F, can tell you with certainty that it does get better with time, and that most importantly you need to take your time BC while grieving and difficult and tiresome, you can't put a timer on it. What helps me cope with him being gone is just knowing that he was extremely miserable in his life, and I don't like the idea of PPL, I love suffering so remembering that really helps me and. Another thing I do to cope with it is constantly joking ABT, it which is easy BC my brother always had a very dark sense of humor, so I'll always make jokes and be like haha he's dead BC he didn't stand Nicki Minaj and yes while it's dark, it helps me get through it. But take your time BC there was a particular artist that me and my brother both liked and it took me until August to finally listen to that artist without feeling broken ASF. When I was in 4th grade my cat went missing on my birthday week. Neighbors kept saying they would see him at our door, but it was always at times we weren't home. One day we had a knock on our door, and it was our neighbor saying they saw him, and he had went into a garage. We went in after him, and we found him. We still have that sweet little furry guy to this day, I'm in 12th grade now. He's the sweetest older cat I've met. My husband of 9 years has been chatting explicitly with girls on Whisper, and this is the second time he has done it. He tells me it's nothing, but it seems like something to me, and I'm so sad about it. My job really brings me down, and I just sit on my couch with tears in my eyes dreading how much I wish I picked a different career path. I really hope it gets better. I wanted to quit almost every day the first four months I worked my job. It got so bad that my wife started worrying about me being depressed. I would just come home, not change, and sit at the corner of the bed and stare at the wall. Like for hours. 
I didn't want to talk, didn't want to sleep, eat, or do anything really. It did finally get better as I got better at my job, meshed better with the people there, and kind of found a groove, but god, I hated it so much. I crashed a week ago and totaled the vehicle. I'm insured and no one was hurt thankfully, but I'm feeling pretty shaken by it all. Perfectionism I know I'm an incredibly flawed person whenever I make mistakes they just eat at my and I can't stop thinking about them which always makes me feel worse. 